my name is Peter Hartmann. <laughs> I'm from Schott AG in Mainz, Germany. And my position there is uh, Director of Market and Customer Relations. That means mainly on the techno technical base, uh, so uh, that I make presentations to demonstrate uh, to the community uh, the capabilities of SHOT and uh, to keep contact with our customers and with the federations, institutions, companies and whatever. Uh, in astronomy, you always have uh, the crazy astronomers who cannot uh, get the best uh, what they want. They always uh, move on. They always want better material. And, and therefore, for me, uh, I like astronomers because they always uh, push us. They always um, uh, cause us to make things even better. Yes? So uh, even if you don't, cannot directly apply it for other industries or so, but you have now then methods available which you can almost directly use for, for other purposes. For example, uh, for me personally, it looks like, for example, Carl Zeiss has uh, learned how to make extreme uh, high quality polished uh, surfaces in astronomy and use it in microlithography. Yes? So uh, astronomy is always a pusher. Yes? Uh, material like zero door, many companies have it in their, uh, in their, on their table, but only small and, and thin. Uh, the big uh, achievement is to make this thick. And uh, this doesn't go just linearly with the thickness. The, the problem is they go uh, somewhere in between uh, the square and cube. So uh, it is extremely uh, difficult to make a monolithic uh, piece of uh, glass ceramics with half a meter thickness, for example, and four meter diameter. Just the uh, mere existence of such a part is an outstanding art. We hope that uh, with the large telescopes uh, like the Keck 2 and Keck 1, which are also on Mauna Kea, uh, they use our material, that uh, the future big telescopes will also use it. I'm quite uh, um, convinced that it is necessary because uh, these uh, telescopes uh, desperately need um, a very stable quality because if you want to polish 500 or 1,000 uh, individual pieces, you cannot do it uh, with uh, lovingly individual polishing, for uh, adjusting for each uh, vary varying quality for one uh, blank, but this has to be like an industrial process. And then you have to rely on the material that each blank is the same like the, uh, the one before. And uh, it's, I think, only Schott who has proven up to now uh, to be capable to do that. From, for example, Keck telescopes where we delivered almost 100 two-meter blanks of the same quality. And Grantekan just recently went into operation another 42 uh, uh, elements or La, La Most telescope in China for about 40 uh, elements. So there is a lot of evidence that we can do it. And also, not to forget the four meter mirrors, which are uh, uh, in the past about every three years on the average uh, we sold one. And in the future, I think there will be even more because uh, the large telescopes need four meter mirrors as secondary or ter tertiary or even quartery <laughs> and, and so on. Uh, so they will need big mirrors uh, additionally, uh, part of it mon monolithic, part of them highly lightweighted. And we are also doing uh, studies for ESO for extreme lightweighting large uh, uh, zero door uh, mirrors so that they can be tip tilt uh, very rapidly. And uh, there's also a need for, uh, for example, for uh, solar telescopes, ATST just uh, two weeks ago announced that they selected us uh, to further work with them together. Uh, so we, we feel that uh, we uh, will deliver also a four meter blank for ATST, which is uh, 
might be very challenging for us, but we are looking forward to it because uh, the surface of this mirror would be off-axis and uh, aspheric, which is, I think, the most difficult uh, thing that you can do. Of course, we will not do the, the uh, uh, final polishing. That's not our business. But uh, since I heard that the maximum deviation from spherical uh, surface would be about 8 millimeters, so shot can do quite a lot in preparation so that uh, the final polishing polisher doesn't have to do all these eight millimeters uh, from from spherical uh, deviation. So if we can do that, I, I told to my colleagues we can do everything. <laughs> I'm quite uh, um, sure that we can do that. We, are, we have done so many things in the past where people in the beginning said it's impossible, but we did. And uh, so I'm quite uh, sure that things will go on. <laughs>